Okay, so on this one, we are being asked to uh, consider a spinner. So let me just draw a spinner in there. I think that'll be helpful. So um, draw a spinner in there. Spin right, right there. And uh, like that. Just got a dial in the center. So it's spinning around. <clears throat> So you're going to spin the spinner, you know, how they spin spinners. And uh, you're going to spin the thing. And, uh, you, and it's going to spin, 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 and it's going to land somewhere. And uh, what's the, they're saying down here, mine anyway, says probability greater than 10. So what that means is, bring it up here, it means what's the probability that the number it lands on is greater than 10, which means... 11 or 12, doesn't it? If it's greater than 10, then it's 11 or 12. And so what they're really asking about is what's the chance it's going to land in this 11 region or the 12 region? So if you spin that spinner around at random, what's the chance it's going to come out a number greater than 10, meaning what's the chance it's going to end up on the number 11 or 12? Well, that's going to be 2 out of 12, isn't it? because that's two out of the 12 regions. You know how probability works. You, you probably sense it. It's, it's you know 11 or 12 out of the total number of regions. So it's two regions out of 12. So probability is always the ones you want. You want it to, to land in regions 11 or 12 over the total. So two regions out of 12. Now you can give the answer like a fraction or a decimal. It'll take it either way. So if you take two divided by tw two twelfths and you divide top and bottom by two, that, that'll that be one sixth. Or you can just divide on your calculator and it'll it'll take the decimal also. 0.1666 forever. Either way, it'll take that answer. That's the probability. The spinner is going to land on 11 or 12, a number greater than 10, two out of 12, one out of six. There we go.